Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Now, I'm very excited to bring to you guys today's recipe. It is going to be this amazing high growth spray for faster high growth. Now, this spray will keep your hair really nice and moisturized while stimulating your follicles in order to promote faster high growth. So, I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, before we dive into it, guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support and if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family and let's hop right into the video then the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some horsetail now horsetail is absolutely beneficial for high growth because of its silicon content and also it tends to impact collagen and as you guys know collagen is one of those important things that you know is quite necessary for healthy hair and healthy skin so definitely worth having in your regimen now whole still helps to speed up the hair growth process it reduces downdraft and it does boost scalp circulation so really really good to have in your regimen so i added about two tablespoons of that now i'm going to go in next with some nem powder now nem powder conditions your scalp it promotes healthy hair growth it temporarily seal your hair follicles it suits freeze it minimizes grace reduces downdraft and it also does help to treat head lice which is absolutely amazing so i'm going to use about a tablespoon of this but feel free to use more guys if you want to but for this amount of spray that i'm making just like you will later on find out these quantities were absolutely fine and you could probably do with a slightly sort of smaller quantity as well if you wanted to now my next ingredient guys will be some ginkgo biloba i don't know whether i'm pronouncing this right the name is always you know a bit weird for me to pronounce but ginkgo biloba bar is absolutely fantastic for hair as well because it helps to promote healthy hair growth it helps to condition your scalp as well and it also increases blood circulation to the scalp area which is very good so i add about a tablespoon two tablespoons of that actually two teaspoons sorry and then i'm going in here with some hot water now i'm just going to let this sit around for about an hour just so it can infuse really well now you can use cold water for this as well if you want to but you may just need to leave it to infuse for a little bit longer um, so I just wanted to speed up the process pretty much so this is it after sitting around for about an hour so at this point it had completely cooled down um, and also it had infused quite nicely just so you can see there the color is definitely more dense so I'm just stirring that in again and then I'm going to go ahead and strain this. Now you can do this guys using a recap just like I'm doing here or perhaps a coffee filter. If you do have one um, it will be quite handy here because we do have some powders in, in this um, and the coffee filter would be a bit better at straining this. Because um, I don't have one I just had to you know use the uh, recap that I had. And then I'm going to go in later on again and, uh, you know, use, um, what's it called, some paper towels for my kitchen just so I could really, really strain it nicely. Now, I decided to add some essential oils here. Um, so I will be using tea tree essential oils and peppermint essential oil. Now, these are absolutely beneficial for high growth as well because it does help to increase the blood flow to the scalp area and essentially um, help with sort of, you know, bringing more nutrients to your follicles and to promote healthy high growth. Now, I will suggest that you add your essential oils towards the end. Um, I was actually just going to use it like this and then I just realized as I was pouring in my spray bottle that I did have some debris at the bottom. So that's all led me to um, strain it again. So like I said, I'm using, you know, just my regular paper towels that you have, you know, in your kitchen. Um, so if you are to do this using these towels, make sure your towel is very strong. Um, because otherwise it is just going to fall apart and essentially you're not going to get the result that you want. Now these paper towels that I'm using are very absorbent and I always use it for DIYs and it's absolutely fine. Like I said, you know, coffee filters will be absolutely fine for this as well. Um, so yeah, I'll just pour the mixture on there and then I'm just going ahead here to 
um, you know, just kind of strain, you know, again, for the second time, just so I'm sure that I got everything. Now notice that the water is not as dense as it was before. Now the reason why we had a more colored liquid initially is because we did have a bit of the powder left behind. So this is what it looks like afterwards. So you can see that if you did not do this process guys, you would have ended with that in your hair. So at this point it's all done. I'm just transferring that to my spray bottle and I'm pretty much sort of ready to use it. Now stick with me guys, I'm going to show you how I applied this to my hair and basically I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about you know how to use sprays or how I use sprays um, to promote healthy hair growth. Now I know I haven't addressed the fact that I haven't posted any videos last week, I just decided to take a break guys, like literally I just felt like you know i needed a break i didn't feel like recording any videos so that's why you had no videos last week but we're back we're back to consistency again so i will try my hardest to give you two videos a week just like i was doing before and also guys we are at almost a hundred thousand subscribers like how crazy is that i i just i'm just blown away like i cannot believe i've grown to you know almost 100,000 subscribers in, in in a year's time i just think this is amazing thank you so much if you're one of those that supported me from day one when i was still like 200 at like 200 subscribers you know let me know at what point you joined did you join at 1000 subscribers 100 subscribers or i don't know let me know but i'm very grateful for all of you guys um yeah you really mean a lot to me and i do appreciate your love and support and yeah very soon we'll reach that 100,000 subscribers my goal is to get there before the end of the year please guys share my videos let your friend know um and also to subscribe to support your girl okay um so yeah let's just get right into the video again so uh, essentially my hair here has been washed and conditioned um, I just needed to sort of seal the moisture in and sort of you know style pretty much now I usually tend to do this after I've just come out of the shower and my hair is a bit damp but um, I didn't get the chance to do that so essentially I'm just doing it now so my hair is a bit dry and it just needs a bit of moisture so I just put that to my hair guys and I'm using one of my DIY butters you have seen this before uh, I'm just using that just to seal the moisture in my hair. Now at this point my hair is pretty much nicely detangled so I'm not going to go ahead and use a comb. I'm just going to gently detangle with my fingers and then I will just twist and move on to the next section. Now like I said guys I do try to detangle my hair only once every three weeks using a comb or a brush and I do try to stay away from you know too much manipulation within that time. Um, I just find that, you know, if you're too much in your hair, it just thins out. So it's just better that you don't, you know, over comb or over manipulate unnecessarily. So I'm just repeating that for the rest of my hair, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Spray to my roots, you know, spray to my ends, the rest of my hair, making sure everything is nice and covered. Um, just, you know, so I can reap the benefits pretty much. And then I will then go back in with my um butter just to seal the moisture in and then that's pretty much it now i will not show you guys how i do the rest of my hair in this video because otherwise as you can imagine it will be such a long video now the way that i use praise to help grow my hair essentially is by using it at least twice a week now moisture is key when it comes to retaining length so if you are trying to grow longer healthier hair you need to make sure that you moisturize you moisturize all the time um, because otherwise if your hair is dry it is just going to break that's just it really so you just need to you know stay on top of your moisturization game if that's even a word but you kind of get what i'm trying to say right so you need to moisturize and this point is fine to use as much as you need to during the week it does not have a bad smell at all and it's something that you can wear to work and it's absolutely fine as well so this is it for me today guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if it did please give me a thumbs up, 
Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We are at almost 100,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you in my next video. Do take care. Bye.